Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're hopping into the next episode of Community. This is season four, episode 11, titled Basic Human Anatomy. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series with me. If you have, like, comment, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Patreon, full length, unedited, and early access. And uh, with everything I'm doing here on the channel, so if that interests you, hop on over there. If on your, you're under no obligation, of course. But I'm just letting you know, that's where if you want, just want to spend just a little bit more time with me. Like I said, full length, unedited, early access, all that good stuff. Uh, last time was the Christmas episode, and I believe the way I timed it out, it, it was going to it would debut on YouTube on Christmas. So happy belated Christmas, guys! And human anatomy. For for me personally, I remember this class being insanely hard back in um, when I took it in community college. Uh, the professor was just crazy. Like I remember, like students would be like dropping out of that class like every week. Every week, someone else would be missing. You know what I'm saying? And like her, her, her tests were like crazy hard. And I don't know. Just like, it was, it was just insane. But I did feel accomplished because I did pass ultimately, in case you guys were wondering. I didn't quit. I didn't drop out like the rest of those scrubs. But um, I don't know what we're about to do here. It's something with bones. Maybe there's like a cadaver. I did see a cadaver in that class. And I was like, holy shit. Because I'm like, what? Why is this a thing? But I'm gonna, like, whatever. You know, be an adult about it and just, you know, learn. But they actually wheeled in a cadaver. I will never forget that. I was not ready for that. Holy shit. But um, let me know if you guys saw something like that in a human anatomy class or anything, like, as crazy as that. But I'm just like, damn. Why? <laughs> Anyways. uh, Yeah, I don't know. Let's just hop into this episode and have a good time and... See what we get into. Human human anatomy class. Maybe there it's a project. Maybe it's something to do with bones. I don't know. Let's just uh, hop in and have a good time. Alright guys. Let's do it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And here we go. This should not be that difficult. We just need to figure out an idea for our final history project. I've been told... Here's your back. Kennedy. No, not an idea. That's a statement. Jeff, we have to take this seriously. This assignment? This we have to take seriously. What is it? Pick any moment from history and tell me about it. Be as creative as you want or not. I don't care. Okay, yes. He's still he around. In, but my run at valedictorian is in jeopardy. As is Shirley's. And I just took one for the team by accepting that C-plus on our last history paper. As did I. As did Shirley. Right. So they're in competition. Shirley, I'm speaking for both you and me. Then you might want to teach your mouth how to say we are and us. Okay, how about this? We do a series of banners. Great, it's settled. You don't even know what I'm going to say. I have no intention of being here late. Your banner thing sounds doable. And this assignment, passable. So we are doing doable and passable. Troy and Britta, have you decided what you're going to do for your one year anniversary? Really? It's been a year? Oh, yeah. They don't know that? That was Just a test kidding. and you failed. You guys are dating? Yeah. <laughs> like, go back to Senior Kevin's for lunch where it all began. <laughs> uh, sure, okay. we could do that. Sure, that sounds fun. Speaking of anniversaries, it is the third anniversary of me and Abed watching Freaky Friday for the first time. So I got you a six pack of body switching movies and a two year old box of raisinets. Ah, Britta. Oh, Troy, you are so thoughtful. I wish I had the capacity for sentimentality like you do. Me? I wish I was more like you. You have it so easy. No, you do, Troy. No, you do, Abed. I wish I could switch places with you for just one day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Routine light switch check. <laughs> That's how this works. That will work. Yeah, we're all floored. It didn't. They switched places, didn't they? Good morning. Oh, and um, happy one year anniversary. Yes, that would be this day. Excuse me. Hey, buddy, wake up. Remember yesterday when we faked a body switching thing and it didn't work? Well, now it's actually worked. Holy. So right now, I'm you and you're me. Oh, boy, here goes nothing. Ha! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We'd all do it. Let's be honest. Wait, Leonard is now the front runner for valedictorian? You're getting beat by Leonard. He's That's pretty so funny. Old. All right. Yes, Here's we below mm. Leonard, but Annie and I are a close three and two, respectively. Annie is the three. That is what respectively suggests. 
<laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that was weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't mean to do that. We know exactly where we sit. What's going on with you guys? Oh, thank, thank God, God you noticed. I want to see who's the first to figure it out. I'm actually Abed. And I'm actually Troy. All right. I don't care. <laughs> In order to switch back, we have to recreate the exact moment that all this happened. But the DVD is missing. Of course it is. So now I have to find it, while Troy goes on an anniversary date with Britta. What? I have to go talk to Troy. Yes. Which Please. one? Tell your boyfriend and his boyfriend that playtime is over. What do you want me to do? Stay alive. Or don't. I'm on it. Are we still on for Senior Kevin's, or are you guys doing this whole switchy thing? Actually, he's kind of going through some stuff. Oh. Yeah, he kind of needs this. So he's really laying into it. He's got the manners in sound. Gene, I need you. <gasps> it's happening. Shut the door. What? It's happening. Shut the door. Troy and Abed think they switched bodies while holding onto a Freaky Friday DVD, which, of course, is now mysteriously missing, and they can't switch back until they find it. How did they switch bodies? <laughs> They held onto the DVD and said, I, I wish I could, could switch places with, with you for just, just one day. day. Oh, oh. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Routine light check. Routine light switch check. That is not a thing. I'm you? What? No, you're not. Whatever, Dean. Now please leave your office so I can start to work on your weird body that I'm now stuck in. You're not even holding a phone. I can't tell if it worked or not. <laughs> I for one, I'm freaked. Look at his arms and legs. He's like the pickup sticks of people. Do you think he's trying Does to Troy hide talk something like this? he's not understanding? If you're worried about Abed, you should talk to him. Babe, we should order. I'm both starving and another word for wanting food. Troy! Oh, thank God you've come to your senses. You answered to Troy. We're in public. I have to. I'm Abed. <laughs> Listen, why don't I pitch you a remake of a remake where my magic mouth tells you to drop the axe because Abed isn't even here. I'm sure Dean would love that magic mouth. Now, we were the last ones to leave the study room last night. Maybe one of the janitors took it. Great, let's go find that janitor. Maybe you can switch bodies with him. Dean? Yeah, come in. Let's stop what I'm doing, but then I'd be depriving you of the view. Is Annie getting turned on by this? Yeah, I'd say it's half past suck. <laughs> totally. That's suck. It's funny. Damn, she is the cutest thing on TV. It has to be, right? We're losing to Leonard in the race to valedictorian, and we were wondering if we could take a peek at his transcripts to see how that is even possible. You want me to jeopardize the very reputation of this school that I spent so long protecting? I'm sorry. And that is what I would be saying if I gave a crap. Back in 1968, Leonard got an A in rotary phone maintenance. Since then, he's been taking every other class pass fail. We're taking an old man down. <gasps> Oh my Jesus. You're welcome. Annie? Someone get her a wet floor sign. It must upset Abed to hear all of this relationship talk. Hmm. He doesn't seem to care. Maybe. But maybe he doesn't like talking to you about us. I don't think he's that invested in us. But he talks to you about us. I talk to him. Do you tell him that things are good? I don't know. Are they? Well, what do you think? Well... Uh -oh. I guess I wonder why we didn't remember our anniversary. You know, that would be special to us. Yeah. Especially if things were good, something we'd want to celebrate. You have to remember that stuff. We just looked at your transcript. I knew this day would come. What? Out of here. What? My work here is done. You're one and two again. Now you can direct your anger and resentment at each other. Congrats. Holy makes complete sense at this school. That's right, tons of Easter eggs in here. Right. This is dumb. Why are you so committed to this bit? If you're really a friend of Abed, to me, then you'll end it now. This is the sweeter end of the deal. Troy still has to go on his date with Britta. I don't understand this whole relationship thing. Or why Troy would even want to be in one. It should be easy. But he says it isn't. It feels like we're just going through the motions. Because he's afraid if he doesn't, it just ends. What if they're not friends anymore? He'd hate that. He hate himself. At this point, not knowing how to talk to her. Not knowing how to tell her that he wants to break up. What the hell? Are you breaking up with me? I think so. Oh man. This sucks. Why? I'm sorry, Jeff. I shouldn't have brought you down here into any of this. Especially for a bit. I know you don't respect them. But committing to them isn't. I wish I had the courage to commit to a bit like you, Abed. Or to a relationship like Troy. But 
There's no shame in what Troy's done. He put himself out there, and that proves he cares. Right now, Troy needs to show he cares. He needs to put himself out there. That proves he's a man. So... This is awkward. Yeah, I don't think this is the way either of us thought this would go. Mm -mm. No. Troy, wait. Don't do it like this. Britta deserves better. Troy, it's time. Sorry, routine light switch check. Did it work? Huh? <laughs> Abba got a small wiener confirmed. I'm sorry. I think I proved today that I'm not ready for this. I care about you so much, and I love being around you. I just think I'm better as your friend. Ouch. I mean, that was beautiful, but ouch. You know, if I'm not going to be that Where's Pierce? Friend, I'm glad it will be you. <laughs> me too. Does he even need it on the show anymore? You hope it's me if it's not you, or that you're glad it's you? Yes. How was lunch? Mm hmm. It was good. It really was. I'll tell you about it later. Guys, I need to apologize for my behavior today. When I switched bodies with Jeffrey, nope. I thought I knew what it would be like to have Jeffrey inside of me. That did not happen. Which is to say, having Jeffrey inside of me. Stop inside saying of no that. Was wrong to have Jeffrey inside of me. Shut up. So I'm sorry. Aww. I'm actually legit kind of sad about this. How? Hey guys, I just want to apologize. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, Dean, walk much? Am I right? Dean, we stopped doing outtakes. Oh, okay. Thanks for including me. Okay. Oh no, my god! I'm not doing it. No. Nah. All right, guys. So that was Community Season Four, Episode Eleven, titled "Basic Human Anatomy." Pretty solid episode. I actually kind of did not expect it to actually end in a breakup between Britta and Troy. It was just kind of awkward, and I felt kind of bad for both of them. And Britta's just so sweet, and she tried so hard, and Troy's just kind of like a kid. He, like, doesn't take anything seriously. It's just, it, it felt like a bad match. I mean, I thought it was a cute pairing, but I'm just saying I just knew it wasn't going to last, because I have a feeling that this show is going to put Britta and Jeff together. Just because I think season four is almost over, I believe. Like you said, the season's how many episodes? 12, 13? So, like, we just finished episode 11. And, like, what, what? The next one's 12. Let me look real quick. Yeah, there's 13 episodes. There's, like, two episodes left, so... I'm interested to see where the school year ends, season ends, like what story beat is going to kind of like hook us and bleed on over into season five. But this season has actually been pretty solid. I wouldn't say it's the best. And it's definitely, it's not, it's not as uh, good as season three. Season three was just like on another level. It was like every episode of that season was just like out of this, out of this world. But this season has had... Like, some really good moments and some really good episodes and some really good concept episodes. So, um, I am going to give them credit where credit's due. And I actually kind of like the idea of doing a Freaky Friday thing. Even though it was kind of dumb doing the whole... Blah, 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 while they, like, spin around or whatever. Like, that, like, over-the-top comedy is, like... I don't really care for that. You know what I'm saying? But I like the idea of it. I didn't like how real it got because no one likes breakups. Even if it's, like, something on TV between characters you like, it just, it hurts a little bit. I don't know if that's just me, but that hurt. And Britta, she just tries so hard. She deserves, good, like, someone really good, but, which is why it's, like, conflicting. It's like, are they going to have her wind up with Jeff, or maybe not? I don't know. But, who knows? But, I don't know. Solid episode, nonetheless. I don't really know what else to say about it. There wasn't really a, a lot about human anatomy. Um... But we'll see what happens uh, going forward. We have two episodes left, and uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. All right, guys. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed my review, enjoyed my reaction, you guys want to see this video with me in its entirety, the options available to you right now over on Patreon. 
Links are in the description down below or put in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you gotta do is drop a like, comment down below, drop something you react to next, subscribe if you haven't already, it's free. And of course, share it with your friends. Helps you, helps me, helps the channel grow. Everybody wins in the end. Until next time, I'll catch you guys next time in the next episode of Community Season 4, Episode 12. One step closer to the finale. But until then, adios. And if you liked what you saw, tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it. And if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up.